imagine the head turning sideways a little bit and then these two eyeballs peering at you and at night with the strobe lights coming up like that, you know, <laughs> over Bangkok. It's fantastic. I remember I started to work on the robot back in 1975, something like that. And uh, the owner of the Bank of Asia was looking for a design and he asked me to produce a series of sketches. So he said, oh, come on, just one more little sketch. So that was the, the tenth year of sketching uh, this scheme. And I couldn't think of anything until that morning, I remember my son came into my studio with his latest uh, Japanese toy, and he was playing it in front of me. And I, I remember sort of sketching away, you know, uh, subconsciously, and, thing, and it came out to be a robot. And I sent that sketch in to my friend as a kind of joke, if you like. A few days later, he rang me up and said, well, that's it, that's what we want. <laughs> and they all liked it. So this is really a revelation. It means that the older uh, you get, the more you sort of throw you back to your childhood. Now the robot, besides being friendly and all that, a happy project, is Asian or Thai, in the way that the machine has been humanized. I designed the eyes to have the strobe lights, so that in the evening the lights would come out and, and shine over Bangkok. In the head you have the executive rooms, uh, VIP rooms, etc. So that's the brain part of the bank. Each nut and bolt can hold up to 10 people quite easily. So it's really gigantic. It was something very new in those days. We're talking about 1986 when the project was built. And it became a, a skyline, a, a sort of a, a mascot for Bangkok. You have to try to paint the picture in those days. There were very few uh, big buildings uh, in that area. And, uh, the robot was the tallest uh, structure on Saton Road. There was no um, sky train, there was nothing, it was quite quiet. And suddenly you see this thing <laughs> uh, standing there. But now it's completely engulfed by tall buildings, 40, 50, 60 stories um, all around it. It's quite uncanny. You would see it behind the sky train, and, and then you would see the sky train and small, small, you know, small trains running in front of it, and this with this big robot in the background, you know, a big toy seeing a smaller toy. <laughs> but the children loved it.